Alright, hey guys, we're going to go over a real quick uh, easy jig to use when measuring railings out on site. Now, when you're measuring for, for railings and you're by yourself, many times it's very difficult to be able to pull the right measurements. Uh, you know, pulling long measurements is really kind of a two-person job. But if you're all by yourself, you need to make some quick jigs to be able to help you do this. Now, this is what I use. I have quite a few of these little things I've made up. It's just my base plate that I order. I buy these things in bulk from my ornamental supplier. Uh, I think they're around 70 cents a piece. It's my most common mounting plate that I use on all railings unless the customer specifies otherwise. Uh, it's a four inch by four inch square plate. It already has the holes pre-drilled in it. So all you gotta do is weld it on and start anchoring. I've taken some scrap tubing that I have laying around, my one inch tubing, which is my most common post size that I always use. And I'll go ahead and I've welded this on here just as if this was the bottom of my railing. So now I can take these, I can take two of these, set these exactly where they need to be out on site and pull my measurements from there. So this way I know that every time I'm going to have the exact measurements that I need and I know that those posts are going to fall right where they need to when I go back out on site. It's just a very quick, easy way for you to be able to measure things by yourself and feel confident and know that you're going to have the perfect measurements every time. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to use the quick little measuring jigs that we made in the shop, how I'm going to use those real quick to pull this measurement for my straight section. So I'm just going to have this sitting here. I'll measure because I know I want to come about three inches inside each, each set of bricks. About three inches there. And I'm going to do the same thing back here. I know that those are set in place, so now I'm just going to measure between each piece of tubing. And now I have my measurement, 44 inches. You do this all along the side and you're going to have a perfect measurement every time.